She was supposed to be stronger, but she sunk in half the time? Yes, ladies and gentlemen, today on Shipwreck, we're going to be talking about Titanic's doomed sister. Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm Mr. Steve, and welcome back to Shipwrecked. Today, we're going to be talking about Titanic's doomed sister ship, the, uh, the HMHS, the supposedly the, the ship that was supposed to be named the RMS Britannic. Fun fact: Britannic was supposed to be was Britannic was supposed to be the biggest out of the trio, and it was originally supposed to be named Gigantic. But after Titanic went down, they changed it from Gigantic to Britannic. Construction on the Britannic began November 30th, 1911. However, she was revamped after the, after the Titanic went down. The midships, her midships got double double hulls, ca causing her to be water, and her bulkheads were increased just like the RMS Olympic, her sister, her older sister. If you don't know why I keep looking to my side here, I have notes up that I'm reading off of because I am not good with memories, so I have my notes up and everything like that. Also, all this info comes from historic travels and ocean liner designs. They will be getting videos in the future. Both of them. Both of them. Anyway. The HMHS Britannic was launched on February 26th, 1914. And was given gantry davits, was given gantry davits that were electric, electric. But, because of time, she was given both the, the classic and the gantries. The classic Welland Davits, which I can find a picture of, I'll show. Because of World War I, she was requested by the British Admiralty. They said they would need Britannic soon, but they weren't entirely sure when. They just said we would need her soon and she needs to be ready when we need her. Sorry, little thing on my screen. I was fixing it. Moving on. <laughs> now, Britannic actually met her sister ship in November of 1914. Her sister ship of course, being the RMS Olympic. Now, she was brought in... What, what, what do I mean by... What do I mean by that? I don't know. Don't ask. You guys can't see my notes, but don't ask. She was... She was what... Bleh, requisitioned and turned into a hospital ship and given the new title, HMHS. Several things were converted due to this. I, I'm not going into detail... Basically, she was given hospital beds and all her luxuries were removed. That's basically in a nutshell. If you want more details, I'll leave a link below to Historic Travels video where I got all of this info from or type down all my notes. If you want all of that, go there. Moving on. She began service on December 23rd, 1914. Roughly, that really doesn't make any sense because usually it takes a year to build a ship unless they were really, really quick, which I'm pretty sure they were. But yeah, moving on. She saw she she saw her sister she saw her sister Olympic. I have to reclarify that. The she saw her sister and the Mauritania and Aquitania. Remember by this time the 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 I don't think Lusitania was in service yet. Either that or she had already gone down, I don't remember. She stopped in Italy near Mont Mount Vesuvia Vesuvius Vesuvi I can I'm not going to try to continue trying to say that. The the Volcano that destroyed Pompeii. <laughs> she sat in the UK as a floating hospital for a while. She was used in, in an evacuation. I think it was the... I don't remember. The Gardenelles comp campaign or something like that. She almost became a passenger liner again. Um, I'm sorry, I'm reading off my notes. Because this needs to be quick. I don't have storage space. She almost became a passenger liner again. Basically, the British Admiralty said, hey, after this voyage, we don't need her anymore because we're good. We're good. We don't need her. The White Star, Line, White Star Line, you can have her. And White Star Line was like, yes, absolutely. So they took her in 
and began to convert her, but then they said they need, needed her back. So, yeah. And to think about, if they if they hadn't re requisitioned her again, it may have stopped her from sinking, which I will go about in another episode after I do the, the last ship of the Olympic class. This will be a two-parter. She came back to duty on the 26th of August, and yeah, she was originally in the Mediterranean Sea, but was moved to the Aegean Sea, and yeah. Now, during her time in, in the Aegean Sea, she encountered a severe storm in Italy. So she was held up for a couple days. But when there was a break in the storm, she sailed away via her... Thanks to her captain, Captain Iceberg Charlie, or Captain Bartlett. And, of course, she sailed near, near Kia in the Kia Channel, where she would eventually go down, which I will talk about in my next episode... I'm really sorry, I basically listed stuff off about Britannic on like, my, on like Olympics episode where I went into more detail or all my other episodes of the past. I will do a more detailed video on Britannic's first story, her, her story leading up to her sinking later, but I am very, very, very low on storage space, so this has to be quick. Plus, I want to get started on the progress for Ill-Fated, the story of the RMS Titanic. I know you guys are waiting for that. I know it's popular. It's coming. I assure you it's coming. <laughs> but yeah. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Now, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Part 2 will be coming out after Olympics Part 2. And after I do Ill-Fated. So yeah. Um, Ill-Fated is scheduled to come out the 18th uh, or 17th, I'm pretty sure I said, of August. So yeah. Also... 3rd of August, so like two days after I record this, keep an eye out, keep an eye out for the trailer for, for the Asteroid 3, The Hunt for Pandora's Box. That full film will be releasing August 30th, and it will be re-releasing -re again in the fall with some changes. Anyways, if you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys next time. And don't forget to not get shipwrecked.